It's absolutely heartbreaking news for Toronto sports fans. Former Blue Jays pitcher Roy Halladay has been killed in a plane crash. Halliday's single-engine aircraft went down earlier this afternoon in the Gulf of Mexico, not far from the coast of St. Petersburg, Florida. His body was recovered near the scene of the crash. Authorities say they never received a mayday call from the two-passenger aircraft. And Halliday, one of the greatest players to ever don a Jays uniform. He was an eight-time All-Star and won two Cy Young Awards, one with the Blue Jays in 2003 and another while pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies in 2010. Tributes are pouring in this hour from across the city and around the baseball world. It's a sad, it's a sad day, ter you know, ter terrible day. Um, I mean, you never expect anything like this. I mean, it happened so sudden. Uh, I know one thing, Doc loved flying. You know, he had a passion for it. And, you know, I think his dad was a commercial pilot, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. uh, you know, but it's, it's just a, it's, it's just a sad day for for everybody that knew him, and even the, those that were just fans of him that didn't know him. You know, he's a, he was he was a pleasure to know, a pleasure to manage, and uh, you know, we all feel for his family right now, and, and we all feel uh, you know special that you know we we had we had some time with him in his lifetime. I mean, he was, you know, one of the great pitchers of the entire history of the Blue Jays, and the fans voted him the greatest. Um, and they liked him because he hung in here. He stayed here. Uh, he wasn't traded. He didn't leave. Uh, he kept signing up. And I can well remember, actually, because I think, uh, while I wasn't working for Rogers at the time, I remember Ted Rogers reacting to some of the numbers that you had to pay people like him to make sure you kept him here. I think around here there's an appreciation of the fact that he was a two-time Cy Young winner, someone who was really one of the best, most durable pitchers and a real workhorse. So I think around here there is maybe not so much around baseball, but I do think there'll be a time where he's in the Hall of Fame. The Jays sending out this statement late this afternoon. The Toronto Blue Jays organization is overcome by grief with the tragic loss of one of the franchise's greatest and most respected players, but an even better human being. It's impossible to express what he's meant to this franchise, the city, and its fans. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. Halliday posted several videos on his Twitter feed in recent days glowing about his new Icon A5 plane. One tweet from last month reads, I've dreamed about owning an A5 since I retired. Halliday received his pilot's license back in 2014. He had many friends off the field, including the local sheriff, who reflected on Halliday's love for flying. I can tell you, being a pilot, flying planes, that was his passion. He would talk about it, about refurbishing planes. Um, I know he had a family that were involved in flying, his dad. And so Roy, you know, I can say he was one in a million. It is a true loss for us. I have no doubt he is looking down with God up in heaven because his heart was a heart of gold. He was an unbelievable human being. Those sentiments are also being echoed tonight by Vernon Wells, who patrolled center field behind Holiday here in Toronto. Wells tweeted, one of the best to ever do it. I had a front row seat to watch his greatness. Rest in peace, Doc. Prayers to Brandy and the kids. And current Blue Jay Marcus Stroman sums up what many of us are feeling tonight. Oh my God, man, day ruined. Wow. Prayers with the entire Holiday family. This is awful.